Yeah, baby, vlog number three coming at you. Wait, hold on. No. Hi, can I get a grande hot coffee? Okay, anything else? No, ma'am, that's it. Uh, it's the week after San Diego, on our way for our first outdoor test. Very odd riding outdoors in February. Only other two times I did Supercross was East Coast, and I, so you don't get to ride outdoors until literally the week before Hangtown. But I feel like we're getting ahead of the game a little bit. Did a couple 30 plus twos on Tuesday at Paula. My hands are gonna be probably destroyed after today, but it's all good. I got this Starbucks, I got this coffee. I'm hyped. Watch, I'm about to be that guy that pays for the people behind me, making you guys think I'm a good person. Pay for the person behind me too. Sure. I'm Feel great, feel great about it. Oh yeah, baby. I just saved somebody 495. Just set my day off on a complete upward angle. Good karma coming my way. Just kidding. I feel like if you do that stuff and you do it for good karma, like that's why you're doing it, I feel like it doesn't work. I really just did it because maybe it'll make them smile. Maybe it'll make them listen to Blink-182. That's my ultimate goal. It's State Chance, by the way, not Blink-182. Even though I just made a reference about Blink-182, it's not all I listen to. All right, so I imagine most of you guys follow my racing. But for those of you out there that don't know, my Supercross season has been a little bit up and down. No wins so far. So we're six rounds in. I have three podiums, two thirds, a second at the last race in San Diego. Of course, the goal for me coming in is to win a championship. I know I'm capable of that. And we had some mistakes. And by we, I mean me. All things considered, with everything, all the ups and downs so far this season, we're in a pretty good spot. Of course, it could always be better, but I'm stoked with how everything's going. The bike's sick, team's sick. Luckily, I'm not sick, actually. Since I'm on my way to Glen Helen, short story about my first testing experience at Glen Helen. I was 2008 or 2009. I just signed with Pro Circuit uh, as an amateur. I remember going to Glen Helen and a kid from Florida, all the tracks we ride there, were they're flat. Just these giant downhills and it was one of the roughest tracks I'd ever seen. And I tell you what, I was scared. I, I can remember it vividly. I see Tyler Rattray come down this hill. I mean, it was, I mean, it had to be one of the roughest, roughest downhills I've ever seen. Just held it pretty much wide open. That brief moment, like as a young kid, I was pretty confident. I was like, yeah, I'm going pro. Like this is what I'm going to do. But that brief moment right there, I was like, nope, I'm out. Can't be a pro. I'm never going to come down the hill that fast. So if that's what I have to do to be a pro, it's not happening. Basically, Glen Helen is intimidating. Or at least it was, but yeah, Tyler Rattray, you scared the shit out of me. We're over here trying to make casual Thursday a thing, you feel me? Ivan Tedesco is testing Supercross today, I'm testing outdoors, we're tag teaming this thing. You want to be in my vlog, Adam? This is my guy right here. This is my guy. How are you? Uh, how are, no, 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 no. What's up, bro? How's things, huh? How's things? How's things? Things are good. Things are good. Hail, Doc. RV, th thoughts on my thoughts on my vlog. Have you watched any? Where's it at? YouTube. No. Most of the time, what's the time between RV and I? Mine's warm up lap. I, I feel like you did like a 148.6 and you were 150.8. He's blowing me out. That's not it's fake news. <laughs> Why? Sticks and berries. Why? Trying to slim down. 
get back into fighting shape. Come back? Eh. Hey. It's like a practice hard. <laughs> what about, uh, what happened in the snow bike race? Give the people a rundown. I crashed, man. I was running third. How were the qualifying times? We can work, hey, we can work with speed. I was, uh, fourth. All right, so first first board change today. Went out there, did some 151s. I did a 49 earlier. Tracks a little bit. Tracks a little bit. Not, I don't know, not so good. What you got for me, Arby? You got a one lapper? I'm gonna go out. Of the, what the, do you call put it? Put a heater in. What are you gonna call? Well, what is it? Let's call 50 it. 50 flat, or just the 50. Somewhere in the 50. Quicker than you. That's all I need to know. So what was it? What was it? 150.9. All right, now let's uh, bra hey, let's break uh -huh. it to him though. What did I do that last time? 150.9. No. And Get all this last <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> How many days of a week do you ride now? Uh, four. How much beer do I drink? Facts. <laughs> RV's the man. I just like messing with him. He does ride like one or two days a week, so the fact that I am faster than him, I should not be overly excited about what I am. Testing update. Well, honestly, even if it was going bad, I wouldn't tell you guys it was going bad, so. Yeah, you gotta be transparent. I feel like the team's out here helping you a bunch. Learn, learn some new cars that could, could help you out. It's cool. It's a good opportunity for you. You taking this too serious? Well, see, the, the other way, <laughs> like other people would think too, as from a rider standpoint, is like, oh man, I'm out here all day. I could have done some motors and been home, and done, That's true. done a bike ride and some gym and be video gaming by now. But, Fortnite, but on fleek. At the same time, this is a lot of uh, the extra effort that you see the elite riders. Putting That's in that aren't yep. the other guys aren't. The time's out here. RV's gone. Where's he at right now? Wendy's? <laughs> We're talking about he's eating salad and watching his calories. One hundred percent he stuffed that jacket in the box of the <laughs> What a hack. <laughs> Just got done, last session of the day. Made some progress with the bike. What time is it boys? Four o'clock, perfect timing. Perfect timing. I wanted to sit in traffic and listen to music on the way home anyway. Great day. Great day. That's it. First outdoor test in the books. Feel really good about it. Made a lot of progress. Good time. Always good joking around with RV, Nick Way, the boys, the crew. Definitely going to be coming at you guys with some more content here when I get home. I still have to do a golf tournament with Chase Sexton. I don't know if you if you caught me calling them out at the press conference and on the podium um, in San Diego, we're going to do a little tournament. Show you guys the compound in Florida. Yeah, cheers for now. Thanks for watching.